Hello there, I'm Sandy Alnock, creator of the Copic Hex Chart and Polychromos Prismacolor and Luminance as well. And I thought we'd play a little bingo. I get emails sometimes from folks who can't find a particular color. So I thought I'd show you where some of those colors are. It's just a few of them. And a Y seems like it should be with the yellows. But look at the color that this one is next to. These two are so similar. They're practically the same color. And they're a greenish brown color. So I put it with those rather than with the yellows. Same with the fluorescent blue and fluorescent violet. These two belong over with the dark blues. They don't belong in the electric fluorescence section because they're not electric in the same way. I do have a video in which I compared the fluorescence under black light. If you want to see what they actually look like with black light, most people are going to use them with just normal lighting, which is why I left them over here rather than dealing with the whole what does it look like under black light type of situation. Now there's a lot of colors in here where I am still dissatisfied with where they are and you may have the same argument with some of them. And part of that is because every time I'd move something, I'd end up moving something else and something else and something else in order to accommodate it and try to get it to connect with things that are closer to it. And that would throw something else off. And then that would throw something else off when I fixed it. And it went on for months. It was really driving me bonkers to try to do it. And this color right here, B66, is one of them that makes me nuts. It should be above and to the left up there somewhere. But if I had moved it there, I would have had to rearrange all of those. And it would have been another round. And at some point, I had to just say, you know, good enough is good enough. And it's just fine. It's just going to be fine. So if you have some issues with some of the colors, that could be why. Now, when I created this chart, I created it for myself. It was not really meant to actually be anything I would share with anybody because I wanted to know what color was like something else so I could not get away with not having to get up off the sofa to go re-ink a marker. <laughs> I know I'm extremely lazy and what I would do, I was coloring a lot of people, a lot of faces at the time and I put little swatches down the side of a piece of paper and was trying to compare them to see which skin tone was close to which skin tone and that ended up being morphed into okay well now how about dark skin tones how about hair colors and well then I need the lipstick and then and I eventually just started working on a whole chart because of it and I was trying to visually compare the colors rather than do so by number I tried to just get the numbers out of my head when I did this so that I could try to keep it as close to color as possible there is going to be no perfect chart because 358 colors is not enough in terms of trying to make a perfect rainbow out of this. There's colors missing. There's some that are just off. They, they don't really have a home. They don't really fit somewhere. And that's just the way it is. 358 colors is a lot of colors. It's a ton. And if Copic ever adds more, you're going to get a free download of a new chart once I get the chart made. So give me some time if they ever come out with some. But you can come back to my site and we'll, uh, we'll figure out how that happens, how everybody gets a new chart. But in the meantime, these are the same colors. They haven't added any in years. Lots of people have different ways of using this. Some, they pick colors by skipping over a few from the color they're trying to use to see what's close that they could find for a shadow color or a highlight color. If you have some ideas on how you use it, please do explain those in the comments on this video so that other people can learn from you and it would also help if you did that on the website as a review because people considering buying the chart might like to know how helpful it is. So there's the fluorescent section up there but this FYG2 is not electric in that same way so I put it with the greens. So for the most part when you're looking for one, when you're playing bingo and you can't find a color, look in the the place that looks like that color would be like this B60 is in here with the blue violets. It is a blue, but it's in here with the blue violets because it leans toward that kind of color and it's very pale, that kind of thing. The blue violet twos, all the BV twos are very grayish. They could have actually gone to the second page of the chart, which is all the grays. I left them here anyway. I put them in this section, but they, eh, 
the match is it, iffy at best on those, but it is a blue violet, so I kept it there. This section here is also rather confusing because I did a kind of collection of all the pinkish and purplish desaturated colors. So there's some in here that get lost, like it's hard to find them because you wouldn't expect them to be there, especially in one of them. There's like one color that I get asked about a lot. Where is E04? Well, as soon as I put the E04 with the browns, it started looking pink. And as soon as I put it with the pink, it started looking brown. And there's just no winning. So it's in this grouping that has reds and red violets in it. And there's the one lonely E that's detached from it. It's floating above it. And these two charts, one of them I colored three years ago and the other one I just colored this week. And I did a close examination. There was very little fading that I saw on the older one. But that chart that was really old has been in a folder. I don't leave it exposed to light so that I don't have to color charts very often. If you have it exposed to really strong light, you might have to do it way more often. It really depends on your situation. I recommend just putting it in a folder or on a clipboard with a piece of paper over it or something, and then just pull it out when you need it. And that will lengthen the shelf life of your chart so that you don't have to color a new one in time really soon. One thing I'd like to ask is that if you post pictures of your chart, please don't post straight up photos because people could just rip that off. It would be really nice if you could show a juicy side view like one of these. Isn't that much more fun anyway? So please be kind and do that with my chart if you post your pictures of it. And I will see you again very soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.